were you, or were you not, on a gay cruise? <laughs> Now you're 120 percent dictated. Yeah, everybody that age, they're sperminator. Yeah, so we don't care about anything else. We're a walking hard on looking for a hole. That's. <laughs> uh, I have to say you're right on that one. Oh my god. <laughs> a stiff breeze comes through the room, and you return the favor. Got her in. Oh. <laughs> Somewhere on the outside of this building, there is a hole where squirrels come in. And better than to... a hole where dicks come in. Yeah, better than that. <laughs> Going down the stairs to wash the laundry. What the hell? Shh. Pizza, pizza. Stop! Stop it now! I order you to stop! I'm still touching myself. <laughs> Yeah! All young bitches want to do is pop pills, smoke weed, get drunk, lay around, suck dick, eat hot Cheetos, charge their phone, get a sew and weave, twerk, be bisexual, eat McDonald's, wash their pussy in the sink, lie, take selfies, <laughs> And talk shit through Wi-Fi because they phone never on. I think washing they pussy in the sink is my favorite part. (laughs) (laughs) The Vietnamese trade in dongs. Figuratively and literally, I'm sure. (laughs) Oh my god, that's hilarious. Um, I I did decide to look it up. 500,000 dongs is a good night for Pops X. (laughs) Like most women, he's an emotional thinker. Good. God. I mean, that's part of the problem we're having now in, in our society is we have a bunch of emotional thinkers that want the world to, you know, to fall in line with their emotions. <laughs> it's not. Uh, look, reality doesn't give a shit no. about emotions. It's my lived truth. Fuck your lived truth. No, it's not. It's your perspective. Kiss my ass. Literally like, hey, Sarm Pop, you got to turn your bear suit. I'm like, over my dead body. No. Just give me a statement of charges. Yeah. You're never getting yeah. this back. Yeah. You can suck it. I'm going to wear this with my Russian baggage coat. <laughs> you, you will bury me in this. Hey, hey. <laughs> Why got to fucking be like that, man? Because I'm an asshole and I learned from the best. I'm sitting across from him and I'm pointing at you with all four fingers. <laughs> all right. First of all, the Russian jacket. Is World War II surplus. I'll send you a picture of it, Sarge. Yeah, okay. Well, I Got wore you that standing new- wearing it with holding two giant buckets like you just collected all the chum from behind the dump dumpster at the bar bar and you're going to go home and make ice cream out of it. <laughs> You crazy ass backwards buffoons. This is Terrence Pop with another episode that actually is live from the lair. All right. Now we're going to be covering a subject that we seem to be uh, touching upon roughly every four to six months for the past couple of years. And it has to do with the coof and uh, the certain medicines to treat said problems 
and it has been nothing but a cluster fornication of magnitude proportions. Runaway cellular mutation. Yeah, that's it. We're trying to stay away from the big C word here. Now, in the years to come, this is not going to go away because many, many people have received this test medication. And we are now seeing the lies fall apart the narratives come unraveled and uh, it's not being covered by the mainstream media virtually at all. And if it is, it's a quick blurb and they move on to the next propaganda story that they want you to fall for and believe. Well, I got news for you. I never fell for it in the beginning and I'm not falling for it now. Now I love my country, but I do not trust my government farther than i could throw a basically a full german woman which is not very far now my buddy pete's probably watching this episode and he told me about a certain individual at his work which i will not mention who was uh basically a union steward and uh, the mandatory poke thing came down and he said that he wasn't taking it and uh, they were literally talking about ejecting him from his job after uh, what was it 27 28 years Jesus. but this is where karma comes in because that same individual just got his goddamn hand cut off because of runaway cellular mutation so now he's a circle back scratcher and a stranger jack person because he's missing his primary hand and if uh, you're watching the show, I haven't used your name, but I'm going to say karma is a bitch and she kicked you in the ass and cut your, your hand off. Now, is that mean? Yes, it is. I am basically poking fun at an individual's misfortune. But this dude ran a, a portion of this union and literally was more than happy to allow the company to fire people who didn't take the poke and smoke. That's karma. I can only hope that happens to other individuals who push this crap along because now we are starting to see the craziness. Now, if you're a parent or a grandparent out there and one of your children comes down with some odd form of cancer let's just say, or some other nastiness and uh, certain medications were applied. Uh, this is probably one of the number one suspicions that will take place, will run through your thinking meat. And if you watch this show, you're going to get all that information as of current year, which, which this is uh, what, March 19th, 2024. Okay, Blake's not here. We got uh, Battle Dwarf in the house, and ah! we got Jimmy. Pushing the buttons like a good evil monkey I am. All right. But anyway, this this is uh, – I'm going to get spun up for this, and I might have to actually start drinking hard liquor. Now, for those of you that don't know, this channel has been radically demonetized. Has it been completely demonetized? No, but uh, I have watched the revenue that we used to get from 2015 to current year go from basically eight, six, seven, eight K to sometimes less than 1000 bucks. And they're still running the same amount of ads on all of the shows that are even demonetized. I confirmed that last night. I meant to mention that to you. Yeah. So please, any little bit you can send in will go a long way. And we try to cover stuff that uh, the mainstream media refuses to touch. And we tear apart the, the subject matter with uh, studies, articles. We have all the sources. They're usually always found below every single video so you can do your own research. And on a several occasions, I was wrong. People sent me the correct information. And I stood corrected because I'm not an arrogant asshat. So please, 
if you think any of this is wrong, send your evidence in the comments or email redoctus 12 gmail.com and I'll be more than happy to review it. I spend about two hours a day going through comments and emails and what have you. So there you have it. All right, let's get on with this. <laughs> That's a lot of as, as far as the feelings things goes, I want to throw this out here. I want to throw this out here real quick. We're not running a hug box here. Okay. We're not running a hug box. We're going to say things that are going to upset certain people or make certain people mad. We don't care. We don't care. This is not a hug box. We're here to try to bring information to you that is meaningful and useful and have a little fun in the process. But uh, if you want a hug, go talk to your mom. Yeah. Because, you know, maybe your mom's hugging somebody else's pee night. Oh, right we went all the way into that room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just, you know, uh, make, we... just make sure your mom brushes her teeth after she gives a mouth hug. <laughs> With a head pop. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this show has degenerated all the way to we're just gonna start drinking now and get yeah. it over. Listen, uh, <laughs> you, you know why you know why you tune in. That's true. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So we're gonna start with this nice generic one here. Holiday travel turns tragic when flight attendant dies in front of passengers moments before takeoff. We've all seen all of the headlines with the died suddenlies and everything. Uh, one of my good friends, I mentioned this the other night, uh, the day before Valentine's Day, I get a phone call and my buddy had, he got the jab. He was in LA. He was a lawyer and he had to get it because mm -hmm. he worked in federal buildings. And two days after he got it, he had his first heart attack. And then three weeks ago, uh, four weeks ago now, it's been four weeks. I get a call from a couple of friends says Doug's dead. Mm. Just like dude was 49 years old. So basically they, uh, stamped his passport. They stamped his passport. Yeah. Now listen, um, cardiovascular disease is fairly common in the United States and it runs in my family. That's why I am adamant about the 65 and out plan. And I accept it. It is what it is. But if you're like 14 years old and you're playing soccer, there is no reason for you to drop dead. Now, does that happen from time to time? Yes, it did. And it was always related to some kind of uh, birth defect or Correct. some a other. valve, a malformed valve yes. or something. You'd hear about that from time to time, but you didn't hear about people just suddenly keeling over a flight was about to depart london's heathrow for hong kong when the 52 year old flight attendant tragically collapsed on the plane the sun reported the plane's doors had already been locked and passengers were sitting in their seats when the unidentified crew member collapsed and started their flight to their weekend with bernie's wow that's mean i know <laughs> i'm sorry it was right there i, I know to. no it's good that's good that's good i had to um so this is a 52-year-old stewardess. I hate that flight attendant generic thing. She was a stewardess. Uh, keeled over like that. These people are in reasonably good shape. I know for a fact that these stewardesses, they have to get regular checkups because you're flying yeah. dozens and dozens of hours a day sometimes. Well, there aren't dozens of hours in a day, I understand. Well, plus the, the pressure changes. The pressure changes on, in those aircraft can be fatal if you have... yes. Yes. Some blood we clotting issues to, just for airborne. And I never went above 1200 hmm. uh, in anything that we flew. With. I think they would go up to 2000 to go somewhere, but I don't know. I was sitting in the back. They didn't tell us all of that. Shit. The, the highest altitude I ever jumped at was like 2300 feet. Was it? Yeah. Usually, uh, you know, if you're doing simulated combat, you're around 800 ish. Right. Yeah. And then training is 12 to 15. Right. 12 between 12 and 15. Um, but you'd have guys who had, if you didn't get your teeth checked, the exploding molar. Did you ever hear oh, one of those? God, yeah, that happened to a dude. <laughs> he started bleeding. He's, like, like, he's oh looking my around. God, he died. <laughs> like, dude, dude, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so these people who fly a lot because their altitude changes all the time, they have to be checked. And if you're male, that also means you're getting the glove. <laughs> I've been, I've had that done many, many a times going into the TMC and seeing the line of guys by the door to that office and their depressed faces was like one of the scary. <laughs> <They're just laughs> totally correct. 
<laughs> no, no. Because what are you doing, airborne physical? No, no. When I was going through my prostatitis nightmare, um, I had a lot of those done. At least you were used to it by then, though. Yes. Yeah. At least you were used to it by then. I got so good with it. I remember I'm in the in the doctor's office, and he's like, "Hey, we have some trainees. Uh, you know, can you can they come in here and do the test?" I'm like, "Yeah, bring them in. Fuck it. You know, serve, <laughs> That's why not. I don't serve know. champagne. Fuck it. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's get it over with." <laughs> I was a good sport about it. Just good. make sure it's not cold. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, I mean, she's anyway, fifty-two, drops yeah. dead in front of all these people. Exactly. You know, she's probably you know gets a, a full physical at least every other year. I think it's every six months. I don't know the regs. like a basic checkup. I don't know the regs. I, I'm I'm just saying like yeah. maybe every day. I, I know don't. I know a heavy pilot. I can ask him. I know I know a, uh, one of the guys who flew this route. You know, my rumor would know too. We should ask him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, could do that as well. Anyway, the point of it is these died suddenly incidents became very common after 2021. And they put them in the paper and in the media in such a way to numb you to it. If you go back starting in around September of 21, when this stuff started, you can see articles and they'll play them for one release uh-huh. and then it goes away and then the next one uh-huh. goes away next one goes away. what they're doing is numbing you to the idea this is normal it's perfectly normal for five six seven professional fucking athletes in their prime to drop dead to just fall over you know it's normal and there's whole montages you can find on bit shoot rumble yes. that just Nothing but 30 to 45 se- second clips of person after person falling out and dying. Yes. And if you're a connoisseur of the more obscure places of the internet, you <clears throat> got those fairly early on and you got the extra reels of the what appears to be the first incidents coming out of China where guys would be like, yep. And they, their they, body would turn around and yep. They do that turn and they yeah, fall down dead. Turned. Exactly. And they they're looking at something they can't see and uh... yeah, and then they just go right the hell down. So this whole thing here, the way they phrase it, the plane's doors had already been locked and passengers were sitting in their seats. Okay, they're taking their attention away from you when the unidentified crew member collapsed. The flight attendant, the stewardess, died as they locked the doors to the plane. They want you to be focused on the door being closed and the passengers and all of that. Whereas, sadly, despite the best efforts of our crew, a patient was pronounced dead at the scene. Again, they've dehumanized the flight attendant, the stewardess. She is now a patient. Yep. Like a patient is supposed to be on an aircraft. The reason I keep bringing this up is to demonstrate to you how they use these words and phrases to numb you to a healthy 52-year-old woman fell over dead on an airplane. Mm-hmm. Well, words have power. You know that, right? Exactly. Words have a tremendous amount of power. Correct. Yeah. And oh, wait a minute. This is the second British Airways flight attendant in in recent weeks. Following the death of another crew member, also aged 52 on December 23rd in the U.S., the employee was reportedly found in his hotel room after he failed to show up for work. Crew are frantic. These are two healthy people. Nope. These are two healthy people who suddenly dropped dead. There were no reported underlying health issues. Really? Really? All right. Now I've covered so, I've covered some supplements that you can take to deal with the irritation caused by the excessive spike proteins within your uh, blood system. Send me an email, redonkless 12 gmailcom I'll send it to you. Yeah. That's um yeah. And listen, <clears throat> and we've said this over and over again. <sighs> what we're dealing with is an experiment in every swinging ball sack and titty sacks walking around out there are literally guinea pigs. Yeah. You're the test subject. Yeah. And some of these boosters that they tested them on. Now, listen to this. Eight. Fucking mice. Yes, that's correct. You test it on eight mice and go, hey, we're good to go. Give it to everyone. Are you out of your goddamn mind? 
I, I got to start drinking. I'm, I'm that, gonna... Drink the tea. Reach for the tea. Uh, oh, okay. The tea is the whiskey. Uh, okay. The tea is the whiskey. Thank you. Thank you. There is no spoon. I was gonna say, do you, do you got some uh, a couple shots of cut my balls in that teeth there? For this you is pop? how I beat it. I'll, I will I will tell a short story about me here real fast. When I came out of the army, uh, I crawled into the bottom of a bottle, and I'm very lucky I'm not dead. I'm very lucky I'm not dead. I finally managed to beat it. I woke up one morning on the floor of the apartment in the back of a house that I was renting, with a picture of my daughter in my hand, and that's the only thing that saved my life. Uh-huh. in that moment until you met me um well i just my spiral <laughs> kept spiraling man yeah i had a bad one going no anyway, i, 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 I managed it. to turn a drinking problem into a literal drinking problem where i could pick up a bottle of water if i wanted a, bo- a bottle of booze i could grab a bottle of water i just slowly pavloved my brain into not drinking no having a real drinking problem ah. i just needed to have a beverage in my hand at all times it could just be water very well. Did not have to be alcohol. Yeah. Well, you're a better man than I. It was hard. Yeah. I've slipped a couple of times. I've slipped two or three times. Wow. Well, but nobody's, uh, nobody's perfect. We're all well, flawed. yeah. We're hairless monkeys. This is what we are. So moving on to this here, former soccer star dies suddenly. Also, this is in American military news. Uh, this is from January of this year. So Luis Matador Tajeda, a Panama soccer legend, dies suddenly after collapsing suddenly at a veteran soccer game outside Panama oh, City. Now, I want to explain something about, and I chose this one on purpose. These soccer players in South America, football, they call it football. These football players are like prize racehorses. They're in, greyhounds in the South American and yeah. European countries. Yeah. Every one of their needs is attended to. They've got seven or eight trainers for everything. A lot of the, the top end guys. Well, not, they, they not do. the bottom tier guys, but the top end guys. Oh, yeah. yeah. But, they got, they're like superheroes. But listen, all of those countries, especially in Europe, they're soccer players. The, the top end ones are treated like, uh, you know, great thoroughbred uh, greyhounds. Yeah. They get everything. Yes. And, and let me tell you, uh, I personally think soccer will earn you a, one or two homo sufficient points because there's no violence in it. But I have to respect it because those sons of bitches go out there on the field and virtually the entire time they're there, they're sprinting or running at 80%. Running at speed, making hairpin turns yes. in a lot of cases. <sighs> wow. The joint stress. I can't imagine the joint stress involved in that shit. Um, at any rate, this guy, top-notch athlete. Boom. That doesn't, that's not a thing. I don't know how many times we need to repeat it. And most of our gentle listeners out there, I understand that you get this, but this is when you take this and you show this to people. These soccer players don't just fall over dead. These guys are primo athletes. They're probably, they're arguably, I would say, in better cardio shape than any of our top end uh, special operators. I would have to agree. Cardio uh, cardio wise. Well, I mean, you know, they don't have 100 pounds on their back. They don't have 100 pounds on their back, but I'll bet you a lot of these guys can do a sub four mile. Oh, yeah. I mean, I've never been able to run that fast. My My best, best mile, I broke five i ran a 456 but that was in high school Uh when i weighed 128 pounds my best one mile was six minutes five seconds that's i'm not a fast runner yeah never have been never claimed to be my my army run time was 1330 was Uh, pretty much my standard i I mean i ran fast enough to get off the x in the kill zone so that's good you automatically receive fred flintstone speed when you're (laughs) <laughs> in yes. that situation though yes, you do. It's like i have a picture of get, getting onto a chinook where the chinook did the the lands that chinooks could do the good chinook pilots are crazy they'll put one wheel down on the top of a mountain yep and it will hover there looking like it doesn't belong there at all and the crew chief's hanging on to the the strut from the ramp going Get the fuck on the bird. Yeah. And I have a picture of four of us. I managed to squeeze off one picture of us running up into the ass of the Chinook on the mountain. We were like running on all fours up the- <laughs> <laughs> trying to get the hell out of there. I got you. I got you. But, but uh, this like this yeah. must have been absolutely devastating in Panama because 
they look at these. These guys are national heroes there. This is such an important team that when they lost a couple of years back, you might remember this. One of the local drug lords came and killed the captain of the Panamanian team for losing the game. Wow. Well, there you go. Like outright just had him executed. Damn. Uh, Panama is one of the crazy soccer countries. Panama and Mexico are both insane about their football matches. But to to reiterate here, Nota Luctuosa, death notice, basically, Federation Panama de Football. Luis Carlos Matador Tejeda Hansel. This historic football player has died. Yep. So I can read it, but I'm not going to read the whole thing to you. I don't need to. Fuck no. all that. People don't come here to get hear me ramble out about yeah. Spanish football players in Spanish. I'm yeah, I got fine you. with that. I got you. But we're, uh, we're just setting the stage here because we got a lot more to go through. It's uh, he, It was cardiac arrest. He has to be substituted and left the game. Outside of the field, he collapsed and was taken to a hospital. Um. What have we allowed them to do to us? This is, uh, and then they do this too. Vaccine injury. I'm getting, when I lose my words like this, when I cease to be able to speak, that means I'm getting angry. Yes. And both my wife and daughter know that when I run out of words, it's probably best to just leave the room and go find something else to do. Vaccine injured woman censored from sharing her story with friends on Facebook. All right. Now, l- 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 let's be honest here. <clears throat> when this gets really bad, which I have a feeling it will in the next uh, 24 to 36 months, we need to remember the individuals who run these you know, social media companies that will you know, hid this ran interference or did propaganda for for the people that did this. We must never let them get a free pass because they're just as culpable in all of this bull crap as even the, the companies that made it. And then we have even all of the governments in the country that forced it. There needs to be accountability. Now, whatever form that is, I don't know. I'm not advocating for any craziness. I'm just saying, do not allow any of these people to get a pass, in my opinion, of course. Last year, already, there were Hollywood stars and other people calling for an amnesty. We, we've all made mistakes. We no. might have made some bad decisions during the lockdowns. We, we might have made some bad decisions with the vaccines. What we need is an amnesty where everybody can just no. cool off nope. and think about it. Yeah, I don't think so. I'll give you an amnesty right after I'm done with you. I'd like to have a brief discussion with you in an abandoned gravel quarry by a cliff. And we'll leave it there. Allegedly, <laughs> of course. Allegedly. 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 And we'll leave it there. Crows have to eat, too. But l- listen... This is going to be one of the greatest travesties for quite some time moving forward, barring the dropping of nuclear warheads. Yeah, just saying. So this woman, also 52 by chance, from Gloucester, England. That's not Gloucestershire for those of you who uh, try to struggle with those. It's Gloucester, England, received the shot in March of 2021. Within nine hours of receiving the injection, she experienced convulsions, shivering, breathing difficulties, and low blood pressure. She says she was hospitalized when her condition escalated to stroke-like symptoms. Wow. In addition to exhaustion, breathing difficulties, a racing heart, and migraines. Pover and 800 other victims made national news when they struggled to claim the UK UK government's vaccine damage payment scheme. Mm. Anytime the government uses the word scheme, you should... Well, they do that all the time in England. Everything's a scheme. I am aware, and it should make you nervous every single time. Yeah. After sharing the link to the story on her Facebook feed at the start of the year, Pover says Meta's social media platform put a warning notice on her account. She says Facebook started alerting her friends that her story was misinformation about 
vaccine. Pover herself, freelance journalist and entrepreneur, said my post about what's happened to me started having Facebook notes appearing underneath them <clears throat> about vaccination. A group page I was an admin in was shut down completely in the summer of 2021 when I posted the Daily Express article, which did an excellent job of not discussing anything pro or anti. I received a warning and the post was hidden. This campaign of censorship has been going on since the very beginning, since it all started back in March. It's been four years now, by the way. Correct. Today is the four-year anniversary of the beginning of the lockdowns for the state of Michigan. That was four years ago today. Yeah. Well, listen. All right. <sighs> you should be fighting against this censorship with your entire being to include your immortal soul because it is the freedom of speech that allows us to warn everyone else of what the hell is going on. Do not allow these companies to do this to you find a workaround use code words you know do what you got to do and listen it's only a matter of time before the lawsuits start hitting facebook for this because uh let, let's be honest it's straight up censorship so i didn't pull the article because it wasn't part of this package that we're working tonight but perhaps i should have a federal judge has been quoted as saying the First Amendment is becoming problematic because it fails to allow us to counter disinformation and misinformation. And, and, well, first of all, who gets to decide what's disinformation and misinformation? They do, obviously. Okay, that's, obviously. that's number one. Number two, if you are running off at the suck hole, and you are lying or you have no facts or evidence, it's just a matter of time for somebody picks your, your argument apart. The That's easiest just the way, it is. way to counter a lie is to let them tell it. Yes. That is the easiest way to counter a lie. So if this was an online support group related to cancer or any other type of serious condition, we'd be outraged at the thought of it being censored. We'd be very sensitive to people having to navigate a very complicated health situation. Pover said she made her first post about the side effects on March 3rd, 2021, shortly after receiving a jab. In the week that followed, I was posting about my health and always thought I'd be fine the next day. After a few weeks, I noticed that little notes from Facebook were appearing wherever I posted on anything related to the subject at all. We're concerned right now that YouTube will go through this and either flag it or demonetize it or bury it. Or age restrict it, which they do to a lot of our stuff. That's fine. You know, I don't mind the age restriction. That's fine. I could care less about that one. People would tag me in posts and complain that they weren't getting any traction. I'd say to them, don't tag me. It will just disappear if you do. This is a classic case of covering up, and there's been a lot, a lot of this going on. The thing is, what's been happening is, other than me hitting the wrong button, the thing that has been going on is this Apple mouse is a pain in my ass. Mm. Florida Surgeon General calls for halt to the usage of the jab after FDA said he spread misinformation. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration has previously said that Florida Surgeon General Joseph Latipo's concerns over 19 vaccines are implausible. <clears throat> so this is another form of censorship. The government is actually censoring any government official who does not tow the party line. This is classic <laughs> Bolshevism. This is how you get yourself edited out of a photo when there's no Photoshop to get you edited out with. You get edited out the hard way. You get edited out the hard yeah. way. Florida State Surgeon General Joseph Latipo is calling on healthcare providers to halt the use of the mRNAs, citing report purported health risks labeled misinformation by federal officials. In a bulletin issue Wednesday, Lapido, uh, Latipo, why can't I pronounce this guy's name, claimed to the U.S. FDA had not shown evidence that coronaviruses manufactured by the companies had been assessed for nucleic acids and contaminants that could cause cancer. Disputed claims by the FBI that such risk is implausible. 
Ledipo called for an immediate stoppage to the use of these. You know, here's the thing that I can't remember if it came up on the show in the chats or if I heard it afterward, but it was in passing. I remember the content, though. How many people were vaccinated when this happened? When this when it kicked off? I, I don't know. Millions. Millions and millions. Wait, well, I know that uh, millions around most the of the Western world has received a minimum most of the, one that's, dose. That is millions of doses <laughs> with millions of doses on standby. Now, March, four years ago, this kicked off. By June of 21, they had these vaccines. Uh-huh. Not only is that not enough time to do the research for something like that, but that's not enough time because those production lines, you're dealing with highly susceptible, highly corruptible materials Correct. to make the vaccines, the ingredients that go into this is what I'm talking about here. You have to have a clean lab. It has to be specifically for this one thing. This is the only thing that it can do. And what appears to be coming to the surface is there's no way that Pfizer, Johnson & Johnson, or Moderna could have possibly kept up with the production. So they farmed it out to China, Vietnam. And other locations. And other locations. And that was one of yeah. the, the big sticking points to a lot of individuals who are fighting the jab in the military. Because they would say... Uh, this certain medication was approved, but then you look at the bottle and it's not from that company. So they're like, I'm, I'm not taking that because this one isn't authorized. This one is. And they literally, the, and the military really go, well, this this is a uh, an authorized substitute. And a lot of guys are like, no, no. hell no. No, it's not. No, Show it's me not. that it's an authorized substitute. Yeah. And I, to thinking back, I should have probably called in uh, my one of my former commanders to come on the show and, and discuss it because oh. he fought this tooth and nail and he fought it to the point where he got enough time where he could drop his retirement packet and literally walked out the back of the aircraft and popped his reserve. And he's totally out now. Wow. But they were trying to throw his ass out at like 18 and a half, 19 years. And, and managed to, to slow walk it to, Get yeah, retirement. yeah, good for him. You know, good well, for him. He took some, took a few chapters from Pop's administrative violence, and yeah, yeah, no, that's good. Yeah, because I I fought my medical retirement for like a year and a half. I remember that. Yeah. I remember. I I'm helped. Like, you, I think I helped you with some of the paperwork on that. <laughs> uh just, just depopping things. Yes, making them legible to the average reader. Correct. Correct. The thing with all of these being manufactured in these countries is do you think they had clean lab facilities mm -mm. do you think they had the correct ingredients in the correct proportions i'm gonna have to go with no because some of these uh pokes were statistically much much higher for of side effects exactly and that's why. Precisely. And then there's the issue of, do you think they stored them properly at the correct temperature for the duration as they were shipped from manufacture to distribution? I think we're going to go with hell no on that one. I'm going to go with hell no on that. Yeah. If I don't know if anybody out there in the audience has ever been to a South Asian country. Oh. Uh, refrigeration. That is to say, I don't recall ever seeing one. Well, I've never been to Asia, but yeah. I've been to South America. And yeah. it's If you want to get a cold drink, mm -hmm. you have to go to a hotel. Yes. Or a bar or go into certain big ticket supermarkets and get it out of a cooler. Other than that, you're S-O-L. Ice in much of the third world. It's a luxury. Parts of the second and a half world are, yeah, it's a it's luxury. A, it's an absolute luxury. It's a straight up luxury. There were parts of uh, Eastern Europe I had buddies that were over there in 97, 98 for the Czech thing. Yep. That were telling me that uh, ice is literally still stored in ice houses. And in the wintertime, they will harvest ice and put it in their ice sheds. Yeah. So and they have ice. One of the main reasons why I was so suspicious about the poke and smoke. Yeah. Is because they forced me to take the anthrax vaccine when I went to over to Iraq. And usually when I go to the VA, uh, I'm, I've been to the VA quite a few times because of health, health concerns. I usually get handed a flyer and have you received any of these? And, you know, anthrax vaccine is on the list. Yep. 
Yes, it is. Yeah, and I want to apologize to the supporters out there. Um, uh, for Sunday, I was, I was done. I had, to, I was driving back from up north. I had a migraine, and last forty minutes, I was pretty much just puking out of the side of my car. So I was in no condition to run a, uh, you know, the show on Sunday. I thought I, I, I was going to have to come do a health and welfare. Yeah, I was. It was pretty bad. I thought I was going to have to come do. And a then we are covering that article about the migraines. I get one or two of those a week, and they are absolutely devastating. And I couldn't imagine having one every day that is like hell hell Mm. and uh, you got to remember this is a guy that was a 1996 world heavyweight champion no no i was i never i lost i fought for the i fought for the ffka world title and i believe that was in the winter of 99 i lost in the 10th round to a tko but the the point of the matter is here the guy can take a hit and yeah, for something to knock him down and make him curl up in a little ball and sob like a little girl, it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. Yeah, and I, and listen, man, it is what it is. I mean, that's probably one of the main reasons I won't be able to do stand up comedy, is because my health concerns. Like the comedian who literally fell over dead in the middle of her set. <gasps> yeah. Oh, forgot that. Too soon. Forgot that happened. Too the one that had all of the the boosters and vaccines. Yeah. 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 Went down like a sack of potatoes. And she dropped dead, or did she just go unconscious? Well, I think she dropped dead. Oh, well. I believe she dropped dead. So basically, the government is suppressing anybody in the government who attempts to talk about <clears throat> this stuff. Interestingly, like we mentioned, it looks like this was manufactured all over the place, which would explain all the varied different results. Some yeah. people are fine. Some people, no problem. Nothing wrong with them. And, and some people fall over dead. Some people get paralyzed. They get palsy. Yeah. And here's the thing that really disturbs me. The COVID, when you got sick with it, some people who had low vitamin D levels, it was absolutely devastating. I'm not taking that away. But for normal, healthy people, it was like maybe a severe flu or a severe cold. I got it. And they scared the shit out of the entire world and basically grease some palms for all of the Western world governments to force this low quality ass backwards, untested, unverified product on us. And we have to suffer the consequences and they're dare to look us in the face and go, well, we made some mistakes and we want some amnesty. There's a second go fuck yourself there will be no goddamn amnesty for you all right i'm sorry i went off that's good um there's a second aspect of this that is not being mentioned and i think it is being very carefully kept out of the media except People like us are paying attention. So if any of you clowns out there from one of the three companies that was making this garbage is listening, uh, we see you. We know who you are. We see you, and we're not pleased. Here's the thing. This act, the manufacturer of these drugs had to cost money, ended up resulting in a huge amount of your tax dollars, your money being transferred into the hands of private individuals of only three companies, plus maybe some of their little satellite companies that make the jars for the vaccine or the needles for those people there. But this represented a massive, massive transfer of wealth. And because of the fear that the lockdowns inspired, there was another transfer of wealth there too to Amazon. Yep. Costco, any of those companies that make all of their money from online sales, yep, huge amounts of your tax dollars and your personal money went to those <clears throat> companies and has been basically hoovered out of the economy. Now, 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 don't get me wrong. If there was an actual virus out there that had like a 30 to 40% fatality rate, then a lot of these shortcuts shortcuts and so forth, they might be able to be justified. 
But you can't justify it when, when literally a majority of the individuals, it was like a, a, a bad cold. And then our own governor here in Michigan moved infected people into old folks' homes and, and rest and homes. Partying in restaurants in Traverse City. Yeah, listen. Anyone who has public office more than likely has a minimum of a four-year college degree, meaning that they had to take biology one or two in high school and another two classes of biology in college. And it's just basic knowledge. The old, get they're weak, and they could be killed by shit like this. There is no excuse for what was done. And I want to know why that decision was made and what the fuck are we going to do about it? Because th- in my opinion, this is strictly my opinion, that was fucking murder. Yeah, it was absolutely murder. It yep. was absolutely murder. Um, where did we put that article, actually? We're going to shuffle the deck slightly and bring that up because it turns out that cardiologists blow whistle all hospital covid deaths were murdered now listen did i jump the gun and take it out of order I'm no sorry. no no we were able to reshuffle the deck okay we're just reshuffling the deck it's okay because listen this show was not rehearsed we literally sit down i get the, i get the links you know a day before yeah, we go through them and then it's literally us talking about the same shit. Typically, I'll gather a lot of the links on Saturday and Sunday to get the general flow going. And then from there, uh, yesterday, he looked through them, like you said, and so on and so forth. But anyway, here we go. Cardiologist blows whistle. All hospital COVID deaths were murdered. A world-renowned cardiologist has blown the whistle in an explosive testimony to expose the true cause of patients whose deaths were listed as covid Dr. Peter McCullough sat, testified before the, no, the novel coronavirus Southwestern Intergovernmental Committee. What the hell is that? They just make these things up. Uh, they really okay. do. About the staggering numbers of people who supposedly died from COVID <clears throat> hospitals during and after the pandemic. Uh, McCullough sent shockwaves through the hearing when he testified that no patients were killed by the virus. Instead, McCullough was told the panel uh, told the panel that every single patient who died who was listed as COVID, who was actually murdered by the hospital where they were treated. We know they were doing this. Well, first of all. We know they were doing this. Well, one of the things that killed a lot of people is they overpressured the, uh, the ventilators. The ventilators. Yes. Yeah. They also put them on remdesivir, which was known to cause kidney failure. Yes. Now, I have talked to people including a guy in Texas where they tried to kill his sister and they managed to get her out of there at the last second. He's done a lot of research into the subject. I haven't talked to him in a couple of months now because he's doing other stuff and I'm doing other stuff. But initially when this all first came out, he did a ton of research. The hospitals were threatening people to isolate their family member and basically kidnap their family member under color of law if the family didn't allow the hospital to put them on remdesivir and these ventilators. Now, why were the hospitals so hot to do this? Because they got 30 because Gs. Because they got 40 Gs. 40 Gs per 40 per... Gs per body. Wow. The hospitals were getting $40,000. There was a bounty on your head at every hospital participating in these programs. Now, now let, let's let's be honest here. Do I think people died from this? Yes. I, I think legitimately people died from it. I talked to uh, first responders who uh, worked around New York City. Okay. I'm going to pull you up by the short hair. H- hang on. Hang on. Let, let, hang on. No, let me finish. I'm getting angry. I know. I served with a couple of these guys. No, they're, I get it. they're stand-up dudes. Yep. And they went on many, many calls for this yes. happy hypoxia where literally – they're not getting enough oxygen because there was something going on inside their air sacs. So do, I think some people died from this. I, I do. Do I think as many people that they're claiming died of it? Oh, hell no. No, right now they're padding the numbers to try to just justify their decisions and their actions. All right, go ahead. Go off. I, I want to see this. God damn it. <laughs> so... Human beings are expendable. Of We're course. basically a bag of water and bones. We die. Every year, 
thousands of people die from the flu. Are there articles about it in the newspaper? Par- barely. Well, for the flu- Do they panic over this? Get out of my way. I oh, am I'm doing sorry. this right sorry. now. Sorry. Do people die? Thousands of people die from the flu every year. Thousands. We never hear about it in the newspapers when that's happening. This comes along. Suddenly, it is the biggest crisis the world has ever faced. The bubonic plague wiped out a third of Europe in the 1300s. A half. third of Europe. Wiped it out. Gone. Half. Was it half? Half. Half. There you have it. Okay. So we didn't lose half the population to this stupid whatever the hell it was. Nope. Yes, people were dying. Absolutely people were dying. People die every year from flu, pneumonia. Pneumonia kills thousands. Sometimes people die from nothing. Sometimes people just fucking die. Man. It, it's your time. The God Some is like, just... you're done. I'm a firm believer that when you're born, St. Pete stamps a date on your ass, and that's exactly the amount of time that you have. Correct. Okay. I, I believe the same. Whatever belief, deity, or philosophy you have in that spot, but when you were born, date on ass. Yes. I got to write that down. Okay. Date so, on ass. D-O-A, dead on arrival or date on ass. Yeah. I like it. I oh, like yeah. It. That works, doesn't it? Yeah. I like oh, it. It does work. I like it. We hit something there. <laughs> <laughs> Back to rent. I'm angry. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Damn it. So these numbers, these things, these claiming that this was the deadliest blah, blah, blah is just absolute fiction it, yeah, it go back and look all the flu deaths by the way flu pneumonia and cold deaths went to zero went to zero correct during that year mm-hmm. we're not counted no cold flu or pneumonia deaths and thousands of those deaths happen every year so this nonsense just makes me absolutely insane we watched people our friend hip Oh, yeah. The turret rat. Yeah. Her father. I was on the phone with her. She was in tears as that damn hospital killed, murdered a good man. And I'm sorry if I brought this up on the air like this, but that makes me so damn mad. I hope I hope I didn't violate any airspace, Hip. I, I'm you're, gathering. You're fine. I'm probably out there, but. Yeah. That made me, you have no idea. I cried tears of rage when that happened because there was nothing that I could do. I hate it when that happens. There was nothing that I could do. You were seconds away. That's like the worst fucking feeling. Sitting there and going, there's nothing you can fucking do while this we whole tried. shit. I called the guy down in Texas. He called somebody up in Illinois. We were trying to get an advocate there into the building, but it was too late. Yeah. Um, We actually tried to prevent that one, but. All, all the usual things, the remdesivir, the respirator, the whole nine yards. They yeah. were murdering people in the hospital. And they, they told and you not got to take. you got a $40,000 bounty on your head. And they, they, they literally told you not to take ivermectin, which, in my opinion, when I caught the coof three times, I used it. And for the most part, I was fine. Ivermectin had been tested in human beings and used for viral uh, antivirals. Since 1960. No, no, it wasn't. It was an anti-parasitic. Or that anti-parasitic. Also, that also did, was antiviral to a, to an extent. To a degree. But it had been used since the 1960s, and the media called it horse paste. horse paste. Now, listen, the stuff I got via the Green Beret Express did it come in an animal dispenser? Yes, but the dispenser went by body weight, so I just measured out 200 yeah. pounds, there and I go. was fine. Exactly, and they have. I ate dog biscuits when I was little. I'm fine. And listen, they put they put out this new (laughs) pill that's supposed to fight the coof. Yeah, and literally, it's the same mechanism that that you get from uh, ivermectin. It just transports extra zinc inside the cells, which it's somehow some kind of biomechanical way, you know, cross wires or short circuits the replication of these viruses. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong, gentlemen, but uh, didn't Ivermectin win a Nobel P- uh, Prize in a certain year? Yes, uh, it did. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it did. I yeah. Did, yeah. Don't, don't don't listen to that. You know, that's not good for you. Listen yeah. to this. Let's inject more drugs into you that, you know. Yeah. Uh, it's a good thing I'm having my mic muted because I'm getting pissed off myself. <laughs> yeah. During the pandemic, patient deaths were linked to a number of supposed treatments that were given in hospitals. Here we go. The drug remdesivir was so lethal that it was nicknamed Run Death is Near after it started killing 
thousands, thousands. Oh. of COVID patients in the oh. hospital. Thousands. Thousands. The experts claim that rendezivir would stop COVID. However, it stopped kidney function and destroyed liver and other organization, uh, other organs. Now, let me say, uh, you need your liver and you need your kidneys. I'm just, I'm just going to say. Without those two things, you are about as dead as dead can be. And it's like if your liver quits working, that that is a horrible way to go. Kidneys, you pretty much, you know, you get weak, you lay down, you go to sleep, and you die in your sleep. I saw a Hanton virus kill a guy in 2ID with that. I talked about you, that. You told me about that. To death. Um, that's brutal. That's a brutal, brutal, brutal fucking death. Um, I had forgotten how angry I was with these hospitals until I read this article again. All right. You had a $40,000 bounty on your head and they were collecting. Yes. If you had gone to the hospital during that time, you would have been killed for your scalp, basically. Yeah. Yeah. If you got that bad where they had to put a ventilator on you, I would base basically somebody was drawing a red line through your name. Yeah. That is exactly correct. And look, during the lockdowns here in Michigan, Whitmer, you miserable. Um, long string of expletives here, no threats, FBI. <laughs> back down in your chair and finish your energy drink. I went out all the time during the lockdowns. It so was freedom I. for me. I loved it. I loved nobody being out there. It was fantastic. I go for walks in the park. I drive around. So did I. I went uh, and staked out a bunch of the hospitals because I saw on the news that bodies oh, were yeah, everywhere. Yeah. We can't cremate enough. Oh my God, it's so terrible. Nothing. So I staked out the hospitals. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. You did that too? Yes. I was yeah. down at Beaumont. I talked to some people. Let's my ex wife. Beaumont uh, North Ascension in Rochester. And yeah. uh, well, my ex wife used to work at Beaumont and I still know people there. Royal Oak. Roy, look, yeah. yeah. And I talked to some of those people and they're like, nah. I mean, it, it's somewhat happened. bad, but it's it's kind of like a bad flu dance year. Videos. What? That's how they're making the Twitter dance videos. Yeah. Point yeah, is, it's no activity around those hospitals. Well, the entire world is dying. Yeah, it was so terrible that all of these TikTok nurses and doctor videos had to, you know, chore choreograph all these Re dancing videos because yes. we're, we're the front lines in this of this war. Yeah, go fuck yourselves and smurf my balls while you're at it. Yeah. Uh, and on top of that, uh, this is from January of this year. Fauci developed selective amnesia during COVID testimony. It admits social distancing wasn't scientific. These things were done for a couple of reasons. Okay. We've discussed the psychological or at, the psychological warfare aspect of a lot of this stuff before and the the alice in wonderland routine where they make things so weird you're begging for a little hint of reality social distancing and lockdowns was conditioning to make you obey and i saw it same thing with the masks yeah, same thing with the masks i saw it in spades when you'd go into a store if you came too close to somebody they'd freak out uh, I went into Meyer without a mask just to see what would happen. Uh -huh. One of the workers, a young kid, maybe 19 or 20 in the bakery, came flying out of the bakery with his mask on, screaming at me, you have to have a mask, you have to have a mask. It was and physically assaulted me. Oh, wow. It, but it was so funny and so ineffectual because he was like this skinny scarecrow. He was like six feet tall and maybe yeah, 110 yeah, pounds. I know the type. And his shoving was just completely ineffectual. I just rooted and laughed at him. Well, see, I, I would go into the stores and if they said, you got to have a mask, I would say, do you have one? Yeah. And most of the time they'd hand me one. I'd put it on. Mm -hmm. And as soon as I walk past them, I'd literally put it under my chin and continue what I'm doing. And then if anyone looked at me, I'd put it back up and, and take it back because I, I was driving me crazy. I could not breathe. I took a different path in those places where I had to wear a mask, like the hospital yeah, yeah. or somewhere like that. Um, I on the first day they issued the mask mandates, I'm like, I know what I'm doing right away. I made a mask out of cheesecloth and butcher's twine <laughs> with the little let my people go strings <laughs> and wore that into I had to register a pistol at that uh, during that time, walked into the sheriff's office wearing that, walked into a couple of different hospitals wearing that 
just to see what would happen. I would walk in and go, I just need to go into your pharmacy and get something. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're fine. We have to take your temperature. But And I'm wearing this mask that is obviously made of cheesecloth. Yeah. I still have the mask. I kept it as a souvenir. Obviously made of cheesecloth. And they're not saying a word. Yeah. I might as well be wearing a chain link fence on my face. Well, I had one of my... Uh... <laughs> One of my former soldiers actually. I thought you were going to say a stripper thong. Would put a diaper on his face. A diaper on his face. Just to fuck with people. <laughs> that's, that's it was it was beautiful. That's beautiful. good. I like that though. Beautiful. I like that though. The former instant, the former director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases claimed over one hundred times just in the first day of questioning that he could not recall possibly damning information. Nevertheless, what Fauci ultimately willed himself to remember or admit was revelatory dr fauci as we all know was the little skinny shriveled goblin that i would love to stuff into a locker full of tannerite um in a perfect world of year-round hunting and public beer fountains fbi i'm not actually going to stick dr fauci in a in a in a locker we're not doing that we're We're just talking shit we're just talking shit be okay yeah yeah i got you Dr. Fauci's transcribed interview revealed systemic failures in our public health system and shed light on serious procedural concerns with our public health authority. It is clear that dissenting opinions were often not considered or surpassed or suppressed completely. Should a future pandemic arise, America's response must be guided by scientific facts and inclusive data. This is the misinformation, disinformation we were talking about. They wanted one narrative, period. And they did not want it questioned, examined or otherwise contradicted in any way, shape, or form. That's when you know you have Bolshevism. But but here's the thing. Over half the country does not believe this bullshit. And the, Correct. That would be the half of the country that voted for Trump. Correct. I think it's a lot more than half. I think so, too. When Strip noted after the second day of interviews that Fauci once cast himself as the physical incarnation of science, I remember that. I made a brief video about that when Fauci said, if you question me, you're questioning science. Yeah, that's uh, another attempt to control you with blame, shame, and guilt. Yes. And we are where we are because a lot of people bow down before blame, shame, and guilt. You need to stop that shit. Yes. And here's a side note. All right. We've got like almost 800 people watching on Rumble. I have got 80 80 likes. What what are you doing? Raise those numbers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And same thing Uh, on YouTube. Let's look. We got uh, almost 800 on YouTube, and I have 36 likes. Are you out of your goddamn mind? Hit the like oh. button so this can get shared out so more people can get this information. Oh, I'm hit sorry. the like button or we're going to make you wear a mask during the show. No. Oh, yeah. Or I can just uh, click oh, no. a button. No, no, no. no. Jimmy, I hate that one. Jimmy, if if you're in the room, I probably throw a cock at your head. Probably. Uh, Oh no! I would would throw a cock at your head. There's just no. (laughs) There you go. I do want to give. I do want to give a heads up to you. I want to give a heads up to the uh, the Rumble chats here. Uh, The chat jumped on me. I know we had some super chats earlier there, so if we miss them, I apologize, there, gents. Rumble, you need to figure your shit out, there, man. Get a uh, pop-out chat where it's just the donations only, please, because uh, the jumping is uh, getting a little irritating. And, well, uh, our chats are absolutely kicking right now. I'm watching one of them, and it's going all over the place. There's a lot of chatting going on. Good, guys good. Really, yep. really talking. Good. And please, yep. if you're watching the show, share it with your family and friends. Yeah, absolutely. Please, share it. They the need this it. information. And uh, the in the chats, we can't go through all of the chats every time. We just don't have the physical time. It's not it's not logistically possible. But we do watch. And we do yes. know you're there. And we do appreciate the hell out of it. Yeah, thank you so much. The yeah. Center for Disease Control and Prevention stressed in 2020 the need for adults and ch- school children to remain six feet, at least six feet apart, suggesting that a failure to space students far apart presented the highest risk. The CDC further recommended the use of face masks where the physical distance of six feet or more could not be maintained, confidently claiming in its guidance that maintaining physical distance of six feet lowers the risk for infection through exposure to res- infectious respiratory droplets and aerosols as though, as if when you sneeze, that droplet goes, Apah! Oh, six feet. Yeah. 
or somebody right. can't walk through it or it can't get on something. It's just nonsense. I don't even need to elaborate here. The uh, whole six feet and masks thing was the most obvious insanity I've ever seen in my life. I did get to do a really cool Franken Frankenstein noise to a woman with a shopping cart who panicked in an aisle because I came walking up and I was walking the wrong direction. They had arrows in the aisles. You remember the arrows yeah, in the aisles? Yeah. I was walking the other way because fuck them. And she comes <laughs> up with the shopping cart. She goes, six feet, six feet, six feet. Like this weird little bird. I went, and, and she literally peeled out in her shopping cart and went running around the corner. And it was remains one of my favorite moments from the lockdowns. The little things. The little things. It was glorious. See, one of the one of the only interactions that I had with some a hole mm. during the whole lockdown bullshit and whatnot because around my area we really didn't give a fuck. We, yeah. you, you, everybody did what they wanted to do, you know. It, it is what it is. But I went shopping at Walmart. Yeah, you know, shoot me, but I don't shop at Walmart anymore. But I think I went into Walmart for just like one or two things, two simple things. I would have been in and out in like ten minutes. I just happened to park my truck. And walk up to the uh, walk up to the doors, and I went in the exit door. Oh yeah, ooh. The the entrance door and is you literally. Know you just got five thousand people sick and killed three thousand puppies, right? Yeah, yeah. You, you kill yeah. Them. Oh yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. I do because I walked in the exit door without my mask on, and I kept on walking. And the greeter was like, "Sir, sir, sir, you need to go out and come back in." I turned around and like. I'm already in the fucking store. I'm going to be in and out in 20 fucking minutes. Kiss my fucking ass. Turn well, around and fucking all, got my shit and got out. Uh, now, all of those individuals out there who are, you know, going crazy over the masks and the six feet rule, those are the individuals who would have dimed out Anne Frank to the Nazis. You're That's what those people right. are. You're damn right. That in the back of your mind, when you deal with them in the future, they will fucking drop a dime on you so fast for absolutely nothing. Do not trust them. Do not let them around you on the regular. They are an anchor. The ballpoint pen wasn't invented until 1952. Um, <laughs> okay. So anyway, the, <laughs> the study claims harms of COVID. I, oh, I stutter over the words. Proudly, profoundly outweighed benefits calls for moratorium on the mRNA shots. This article is from just last month. A new peer reviewed study in a Springer Nature Group journal has painted a damning picture of the global vax campaign, along with novel mRNA products at its core. Again, I give to you the number of vaccines which were produced, which would require expedient measures. Vaccines, millions of Americans were compelled to take if they wanted to keep their jobs, eat in public, stay in school, remain in uniform, or visit their loved ones, according to the study published on January 24th in PubMed, listed open access journal Curious. Standards were <laughs> dropped, corners were cut. Standards were dropped and corners were cut. Oh, no! And red flags were missed in the testing, authorization, and ultimate deployment of the COVID-19 vaccines. Why right. that sounds like we were just talking when they were first talking about this mRNA before it was even released. I did some research on there, and there was some old studies because this technology has been around for a little bit of time. That yes, it was effective initially towards the pathogen that they were vaccinating for, but the following year and the year after that, they like most of the test animals perished from other diseases because it weakens your immune system to everything else but that one bug. And we're seeing that now called VADES. Yeah. Yeah. So, oddly, I haven't read all of these articles. We've got a, we pull a stack of articles when we do these things. We yeah. don't you don't, we don't have to read them all. Just, That's not the point. I know. I, what my point is, I just started reading this one from the Blaze that we're on right now. Uh, extra to hinting at possible ulterior motives driving the decision to rush out the vaccines in a fraction of the time conventionally figured appropriate. Epidemius Nathaniel Mead and his co-authors, including Texas cardiologist Peter McCullough, we just heard from him, wrote that the vaccines evaluated in the trials were not the same products distributed worldwide. 
Oh, Why? we were just talking. About we were just talking about that. Whereas the mRNA products from clinical batches in the registration trials were ostensibly free of the process related impurity. You just said that the first couple of batches seemed to be doing okay. And it wasn't until. The, I, yeah, there you go. go. We didn't read this article ahead of time. <laughs> this is our magic trick rabbit on the fucking hat. That doses made with a method much more suitable for mass production known as process two showed significantly reduced mRNA integrity. No. No. All of the mRNA products released to the public were produced via process two and have been shown to have varying degrees. All right. Well, you get the idea. The Blaze right. just decided that it needed to throw a paywall in our face. So, all right, so move on. We will just move right by. But you get the idea. Okay. You get the idea. What he and I were talking about at the it's, beginning. It was a big bait and switch. Yes. It was a huge, big bait and switch. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Here's how a lot of these things work to my understanding. And I have a layman's understanding. I am not a virologist or anything like that. I'm not a scientist. I don't pretend to be, but I understand the process by which some of these things are made because it's not hard to understand if you've got anything more than a room temperature IQ. When they develop these vaccines to test them, they make very small batches. Yep. They do not make bulk for production batches. That's a whole different critter. Well, first of all, that's a whole other animal. And most of the times they don't even think about mass production while they're doing uh, the small the small testing. A lot of those guys doing the small testing don't even think of the big picture. They hand it off to somebody else who's like, whoa, what the fuck do you want? Oh, you want this? Okay. Yeah. And guess what? Whenever you farm anything out to the lowest bidder, what do you get? You get a bunch of shit. That's what you get. Which is exactly what we were talking about. Yep. MHRA admits using circular reasoning and claiming a huge number of COVID vaccine injuries where I'm... <coughs> I sneeze, but managed to hit the mute button in time. Claiming huge number of COVID vaccine injuries reported are due to high public awareness. What? <laughs> yeah. Wait, well, well, so wait, wait. So if you're paying attention, then the numbers are wrong? Guess. Oh, oh, okay. And you're probably going to die. And that's from the UK? This is from the UK. No wonder they're so fucked up over there. I, I loved the castles. I could have spent endless amounts of time. Yeah, I like the castles. I hate the food. They're the food wasn't bad, but I was in the country. Fuck you. Fuck, that shit's fuck you. Terrible. Fuck off. Um, <laughs> anyway, the UK Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency, the MHRA, acknowledged that it used circular reasoning and lax documentation to support its claims that a high number of yellow card reports uh, were related to COVID injections. The agency asserts that the increase in reports due to heightened public awareness resulting in more people submitting reports than usual. What is the meat of this here? Well, the yellow card thing, what is this, a soccer game or something? They, they don't relate everything to soccer. They really do. Everything yeah. is football. They're fucking weird. Right now, we have Kiwis, Aussies, Brits, Spaniards and French and Italians yelling at us for calling it soccer. And flag on the play! Don't care. Bullshit flag on the play. <laughs> um, so, in a recent article, Stephen Feldman highlighted a response to a Freedom of Information Act risk request that revealed MHRA used circular reasoning to make the claim that there were a high number of yellow card reports related to COVID injections due to a high level of public awareness reporting the ill effects. So I, I can't even really thoroughly process what the MHRA is saying here. I understand the article, but the statements made by the MHRA, high public awareness of the yellow card scheme, whatever, I guess they were flagging people's responses to having bad responses to the injection and the reporting of suspected reactions was inferred from the number of yellow cards received reporting suspected side effects to the covid 19 x this is what you call a rube goldberg mechanism yeah they're like oh you guys are full of shit you're just you know you're making something out of nothing it really wasn't th th that's exactly what they're doing in a roundabout kind of way okay here's the yellow card scheme they don't explain it until like two-thirds of the way down the article 
the yellow card scheme is a mechanism by which anybody can voluntarily report any suspected adverse reactions to COVID injections. Reports to the scheme are known as suspected adverse reactions. Blah, blah, blah. Its purpose is to provide an early warning of the safety of a product. Oh, so this system, this yellow card system, is something the Brits have in place for anything like this. So basically what they did was ignore it. Are you familiar with the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? Of course. Do you remember the Vogon bureaucracy? <laughs> yep. This is the Vogon bureaucracy. I'm convinced now that Douglas Adams was speaking specifically of the British government when he wrote about the Vogons. Yeah. You should have seen the plans to destroy Earth. They've been posted in the office six galactic light years away for the last 45 months. <laughs> That's what this is. I got to read that. Reread that book, actually. Great book. Great book. Love yeah. that book. All right, let's move on. Read more. MRHA admits using circular reasoning and claiming a huge number of COVID vaccine injuries are due to high public awareness. What they're claiming is because the public noticed. That's why everybody is saying there's a reaction. Yes. Is what this has boiled down to. It's public hysteria. It is. Bullshit. They're claiming it's public hysteria. Except. Yeah, this one this one scares the shit out of me. And this one is from February 8th of this year. Yes. So it's not that old. COVID shots killed 14 people for every one life saved. Wow. That is... ex I hate it when they lead off with leading experts. May we have the names, please? have just issued an emergency alert after a peer-reviewed study found that injections have killed 14 people for every life that they did save, which supports the theory that we just put out there about the manufacture, the sh the sh slipshod manufacture of these products. The, well, it's the lowest bidder manufacturing. Yes, lowest bidder. Yeah. LBM. Yeah. Lowest bidder manufacturing. The researchers behind the study are calling on, on governments to immediately issue a global ban on the shots as the study confirmed well-documented serious adverse events from an acceptable harm to reward ratio. The study confirmed that the injections are responsible for the epidemic of sudden deaths around the world and are causing major spikes in advanced X vaccine acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. What's that? VADES. VADES. Heart failure, strokes, brain disorders, and blood clots. By God, man, what could possibly go wrong? With considerably lower efficacy rates, the vaccines caused more deaths than save lives, according to the study. If it sounds like I'm stumbling around certain words in this text, it's because I don't want YouTube's algorithms to pick them up. Okay. The peer-reviewed case published in the Curious Journal on... January 24th, analyzed reports from the initial phase three trials. Oh, this is after phase two of Pfizer, Moderna, uh, mRNA vaccines. These trials led to the shots being approved under emergency use authorization, which means they were never authorized. The emergency use authorization is something that they came up with uh, not long ago, a couple of years before this happened, which tells me that they were planning this if you go back we need to look up what the emergency youth authorization is maybe we need to do a metadata dive on this we probably should the study also looked into several other research and reviewed the articles found the vaccines had dramatically lower efficacy rates than the companies claimed moreover based on conservative assumptions the estimated harms greatly outweigh the rewards for every life saved there are nearly 14 more deaths caused by the subject in the, the object in question here. the poke and smoke the poke and smoke um 14 deaths for every life saved wow that sounds suspiciously like murder or deliberate decimation or genocide or genocide and didn't we have uh a bunch of laws passed uh, after World War II about medical testing on people. Yeah, yeah, there yeah. was well, there was quite a bit to do with what, that. It started with an H. Was it what Hig? Is that it? Yeah, that's uh, Nuremberg. Yeah. Actually, Nuremberg. Really. That's it. Yeah, the Nuremberg trials. Yes. Yeah. Um, I don't think they even tested it on the population. I think they just gave it to the population. Or they gave it to mice. And they're now analyzing the data. They gave it to eight mice. Yes. Let's be clear. They gave it to eight mice. Eight whole mice died because of this. Yeah. Come on. 
I, I, I could feed eight mice to a snake. I mean, fuck it. Yeah, I had a python for a little while. Yeah, yeah. Um, back when it was the the thing. It's a bad idea. I ended up giving it to a zoo. Very low efficacy rate. Following the first trials, it was claimed that the vaccines had a 95% reduction of symptoms. The study pointed out this efficacy was assumption was false. So that was a lie as well. Pfizer's claim was based on the fact that only eight out of the 22,000 recipients contracted the, the disease during the trial compared with 162 <laughs> out of 22,000 people in the placebo group. In total, 170 confirmed COVID-19 cases were both. That number eight sticks out to me there a lot. Yeah. As though eight people were selected just like eight mice were selected. Uh, the researchers pointed out that a large number of inject infections fell under the suspected category, which was ignored. A total of 3,410 such suspected cases were involved in the trial, which is 20 times the confirmed case. This is bureaucrats creating a haze around what they were doing. They knew that this didn't work. So this is like verbal prestidigitation? Yes. Or three-shell Monty? Yes. Because three-shell Monty, but with your life. Yes. You're playing a game of three shell Monty if you decide to get the poke and smoke. I'm just going to be honest. Yeah. <sighs> so, what that ended up being and, is what we really want. To... And this this one is scaring the shit out of me right here. The yeah. next, the next one. I have quite a few of these articles here. We'll see what we can yeah, get. Pull up the one that has like the fourteen thousand percent increase. Let's do that one first before you we run. Do that one. Yeah. First. Oh my God, that one's terrifying. Yeah. So, official data links one hundred and forty-three thousand two hundred and thirty-three percent cancer. Uh, RCM. Thank you. Links one hundred forty-three thousand two hundred thirty-three percent RCM surge. That is uh, random. Cellular mutation, no, no, yeah. runaway random cellular, cellular mutations. mutations. Runaway cellular yeah. mutations is the word that we're using here in place of what you see on your screen. The C word. Yes. So one hundred forty-three thousand two hundred thirty-three percent RCM surge to shots. And what's the date on this? March sixteenth. March sixteenth. What, what day? That was days three ago. days ago. And have we heard anything in the news about this? No. 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 Go back to the top. Let's see that number again. Why? Why? Because it's terrifying. 143,233%. Do you have any idea how fucked up that is? It's God almost as if Damn. Was, it's almost as if it was deliberate. Yeah. Almost as if it was deliberate. Bombshell official government data has finally confirmed what many people long suspected that shots are responsible for skyrocketing cases of deadly RCM. In the United States, RCM is the second leading cause of death. The leading cause of death, of course, is heart disease, which also mysteriously spiked dramatically when the things were rolled out in 2021. Gosh, what a coincidence. Now, new data shows that RCM has been on the rise as a result of the experimental injections. Official U.S. government data confirms the risk of developing RCM increases by a shocking 143,233% following one of these voluntary free provided for you by your government out of the love of their hearts vaccinations. Wow. 143,233% increase in RCMs. Yeah, and we, we have to cup the mic just to make it so you guys understand that this is serious shit here. This is serious. This, we're not fucking around. I would cup the mic when I was telling somebody to do something and I needed to do I need to unass that area right now. <laughs> get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. <laughs> well, it's better to cup the mic than cup the balls. Yes, you're correct. <laughs> Depends. Depends. Yeah, um, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to award yourself a homo suspicion point there, Jimmy. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, you mean you mean I got to I got to play those? Play yeah, this play one. It. You are fined one homo suspicion point for violation of the man code morality statute. <laughs> I love 
I love yeah. that. I love it. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll take that one. I'll take that one. <laughs> so the VAERS reporting system, everybody knows about the VAERS reporting yeah, system yeah, because yeah. of this. We learned about this. We learned about this. If you didn't do your homework, it's not my problem. Go look it up if you don't know what it is. VAERS is hosted by the U.S. Center for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC. Now, there's an oxymoron. Contains historical data on adverse reactions reported against every vaccine that has ever been administered in America. I need to do a dive on that data. Well, do you, do you remember the, the flu debacle in the 70s? Yeah. They, they had, what, uh, a thousand, I don't even remember how many people died, but it wasn't a big number, and they completely pulled it. They're like, oh, this is bad, and they literally took it off the shelves, and they're like, we, oh, we fucked up. Yeah, yes. And, and quite literally, now we're seeing second and third order of effects after the poke and smoke. This is gonna this is gonna go on for decades. One hundred forty three thousand two hundred and thirty three yeah. percent increase in RCMs. The VAERS database shows the number of RCM cases reported as adverse reactions to the injections since they were first rolled out in the USA. The data reveals that from December twenty twenty, you ready? Better be sitting down. Might want to get a drink. From December twenty twenty up to August fifth, a total of two thousand. 579 adverse events related to RCM were made in just one year and eight months. <laughs> Additionally, the database shows the number of RCM cases reported as adverse events to all other available vaccines between 2008 and 2020. The data reveals that there were just 791 adverse events related to RCM during the entire previous period of 13 years. All right, read that again. Just so it sinks in. Sometimes stupid doesn't stick on the first pass. Stupid does not always stick on the first Data pass. revealed there were 791 adverse related cancers during the entire period of 13 years. Whereas during the period after the injections, the data revealed that from December 2020 up to August 5th, 2022, a total of, that's a period of one year, 1 eight months. Yeah. One year, eight months, a total of 2,579 adverse events related to RCM were made in just one year and eight months. For those of you who came in late, RCM is runaway cellular mutation. You typically get it in your prostate, breasts, nose, places like that. You get the idea, RCM. Yes, yes. And if you let it go too far, it will kill you. Dead. The data revealed there were just 791 adverse events related to cancer during an entire period of 13 years. Many would argue, without backing their claim up with the evidence, that this is simply due to the volume of COVID injections administered compared to all other vaccines. Here's another thing we, we actually need to bring to light here. If you were one of the individuals out there who took your child in there to give this vaccine, and then sometime in their early teens they developed like leukemia or some other horrible cancer you're gonna to have to ask yourself is it because of this or is it something that was supposed to happen right. i'm going to err on the side of that is usually exceedingly rare and if it happens on the regular you might want to get a little pissed off about it i'm just saying yep i cannot wait until about uh 10 years down the road if uh well if this world is still a world this country is still a country and we get the uh the lawyer commercials were you did you take the uh certain poke and smokes during this certain time of period and their boosters you may be entitled to uh, to financial compensation yeah and we all know that'll be peanuts by then yeah exactly oh yeah, you'll yeah. Get, you'll yeah. get like a 300 dollars payout and the lawyer will walk away with millions of dollars that's how that works by yes the way. correct yep um so the data shows the total number of flu vaccine doses administered in 13 full flu seasons from the 2008-2009 to the 2019-2020 season. The data has been extracted from the CDC database and is found here. There's a link in the article. Jimmy, will you post a link to this article in the chats? Please. Let's see here. Which one are we on? Slaynews.com. Slaynews. Yep. Um, links. Cancer surge, COVID. God damn. This is just, just. Yep. Let me uh, let me find that real quick. I will put that because in the chat. This link to the extracted data from the CDC database. It's about three quarters of the way down the page. Yeah, yeah. 
But uh, all links are all available on redoctorless.com. Uh, I cannot yeah. find it, and I cannot get it posted. We are not uh, going to click that link because we are running short on We are time. running short on yeah. time. Anyway, uh, 1.72 billion doses of the flu vaccine were administered in the United States. The CDC also confirms that there were just 64 events related to RCM reported as adverse reactions to the influenza jab. Yep. So... Well, first of all, whenever you modulate your immune system, you have to understand that at any given moment, there is cancer growing in your meat suit. And if it is your own body's defenses that clears that out, literally one of your cells goes retarded and your body's like, oh, we're going to have to club him into submission and recycle his ass. If that doesn't happen, well, then you go. It's a runaway uh, reaction. Oh. That's just heartbreaking. Look at that little girl there. I, it makes me angry every time I see a picture like that. Yeah. A genomics expert has just given explosive testimony before the Massachusetts legislature. These testimonies should be easy to find. This isn't clickbait. This isn't just random fear porn that we're putting up here. Uh, Kevin McNernan, I know that name and uh, the other doctor's name as well. These guys did testify and they detailed the chilling discovery he's made during the injections. McKernan told lawmakers that shots are a major RCM risk and officials must stop cold. Hit the brakes, he urged the legislature. The sequence that's in those doses, at billions of copies per dose interacts with the P53 gene. There's a tumor suppressor gene. This is a tumor suppressor gene, so anything that interacts as a contaminant to the gene is a red flag. You've got billions of copies of something that interact with our tumor suppressor system. Basically, what he's saying here is the inherent hardwiring we have to fight diseases like RCM is locked to this gene in ways that I don't understand because I'm not a scientist, but I can understand the basic principle of it. Uh -huh. So if you get something, this this gene, P53, is going around, it's doing its thing, and this our mRNA latches onto it and it can't do its for job. hypothetical purposes drags it down and it can't do its job, yeah. your body starts to produce cancers. Or more than usual. Yeah. Yep. Which is where we are now. And the crazy thing is. <laughs> you want to talk about Twisted. This is this what the last is one? From a week ago. Yeah. This is going to be our last one of the night for this. So Pfizer's having di financial difficulty because they can't push their poison anymore. Pop! Pop, this is all conspiracy theory. Uh -huh. None of this is true. The, 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 the shots don't cause RCM. That's stupid, and you're dumb. Yeah, so now they're going to double down and make even more money curing the problem that they created. Yes. If a company that does things like this suddenly pivots when the data starts to come out that its product is producing RCM, it is basically a confession, and this is from a week ago. Pfizer bets on cancer drugs to recover from rapid decline of COVID business. Pfizer is pushing to be more involved in cancer drugs after a turbulent year marked by the rapid decline of its COVID business. During a four-hour investor event last week, Pfizer pushed its in initiative to accelerate breakthroughs to help people with cancer globally live better and longer lives. The drug maker has ramped up its efforts to outdo RCM since it acquired oncology biotech firm Segan for $43 billion in December. Where did it get that $43 billion? Oh, yeah, yeah. What, I think you and I both. Yeah, taxpayer money. I think everyone paid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Transfer of They'll just print more money. Well, what could go wrong? What could go wrong? The acquisition doubled Pfizer's RCM drug pipeline to 60 different experimental programs. 60 different experimental programs, CNBC reported. While the company has said that it can produce at least eight blockbuster medicines by 2030. 2030. Now there's a date. Yeah. Yeah, that's an interesting date. <laughs> I'd like to port, point out that CNBC, a noted leftist media organization, is reporting this. Yes. For any of you out there who are going, you can't trust that. This is their media reporting it. Yeah. This is Communist News Network reporting this. It wasn't immediately clear which drugs Pfizer believes could offer up the potential to outdo RCM. 
The analysts have advised it will take a few years for some of the companies that are CM drugs that are currently in mid-stage development. These things take years. I moved the whole table when I said that because I'm so mad. Oh, let's say it, let's just say it takes a minimum of it at least a decade and a half. It takes them years to develop this, and they had the crap they stuck in your child, your mother, your grandfather. They had that in less than a year. And it was out for pretty because it takes them three months to produce well, anything. Could it be that uh, certain labs that were tinkering with certain viruses already made vaccines for said tinkered viruses? Are you talking and, about the uh, the certain labs in a certain uh, country? Yes, Bob? yes. <laughs> that uh, you know that Fauci said didn't exist, but yet they do. <laughs> I'm at a point right now and sit down FBI special agents, fricking frack. I'm just running my suck where I am mad enough that could I hypothetically careful walking right up to the line and going <laughs> <laughs> walking right up to the line and poking it with the stick. <laughs> I would like to vividly and vigorously reminisce about some of the things that I used to do back in the military with some of the people involved in this and actually get the correct story from them. That would be cool. Uh, not for them. <laughs> it, would not, not, it would not be fun for them. No, no, not be fun. No, but listen, uh, when enough people have died and, and people will wake up and when they wake up, they're going to be monumentally pissed, especially if they crash the economy and uh, we have a bunch of uh, civil war or, you know, combat actions taking place because of all of the illegal aliens that they imported in here. Yeah. So I saw some in Detroit today. We had four Congolese and I know what they look like. Right. I specifically, I understand. Them. I heard the story. Check it. We have to, we have to get Roger through. that. It wasn't immediately clear which drugs Pfizer believe could do it. Analysts advised to take a couple of years to the company's drugs. To... Okay. Here's where we are. We don't need to go through the rest of this article. We're running out of time. And I recognize that. These companies either deliberately did this or were so reckless in their production of these drugs that they are now rampantly producing RCMs in our population, particularly in our youth. New Zealand is reporting enormous rates of these problems in young people. Yes. And we're seeing it here in the United States as well oh. and in other places. This is, I'm losing words again. You need to finish this out because I'm going to do that. Okay. Thing. We've come, we've gone through all of these articles. A lot of them, or most of them, are relatively new. We have seen none of this on the media. It's not being covered on, you know, by any of the major news sources that I can remember seeing. It's being suppressed by big tech. And they are all, I bet you they are all betting that they just hope everyone forgets about it and yeah. they can go on as business as usual. Well, it is our job to point out that, no, we are never going to forget about this. I am going to continue monitoring this situation because, in my opinion, and my ESP is telling me, this is going to get much worse. And when it happens to one of your children, and it will. And it well, let's hope it doesn't. I'm not I'm not, I, I pray it doesn't. I pray it doesn't happen. I'm not jinxing anyone. But with the with, with listen, I always bet the numbers, that's why I'm still alive. And with the amount of poke and smokes, the lack of oversight, the lack of proper testing and research, it is a foregone conclusion that this is going to get real bad. And I hope I am wrong. I hope I am wrong, but my gut is telling me I'm not. All right, let's get through some of these super chats. Oh God, That's right. a, that was this, painful. This, this, I I want to just go off, Jimmy. Go to go do it, Jimmy. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> All right, <Once, laughs> jump over here to the uh, the YouTube chats here. Uh, I am not getting any numbers on my end, so I don't what? know what the likes are or whatnot. So I can't can't say. I'm gonna to have to punish you guys with a uh, another nasty well, we got Nancy. Or... We got 527 on YouTube. Okay, that's a start. That's a start. All right, that'll but, work. That'll work. But Rumble, all right, we got 25. 
Yeah. All right, let's see. We'll start here with YouTube. We got uh, Sean St. George jumping in. $5. I was just, just I was about to say, Pop, uh, I was about to say, Pop was either going to give a knife hand with an aneurysm or open a bottle. <laughs> pretty much what's going to happen. Well, uh, like I said, I keep my mic muted for a reason. I have my uh, bottle of Crown here, and I've been taking a swig or two every now and then. Uh, so I'm drinking for you, Pop. All right. Thank you. Uh, Sean, jumping back in again here with uh, $10. Uh, speaking of anthrax, uh, MedPros kept losing that that shot record and had to take the first uh, had to take the first shot four times because for some reason I always came up as never having said shot. Yep, that's happened before. I've seen oh, that a few times. That's nice. Got a big guy with four ninety nine. No comment, but he's throwing us five dollars there. Thank you very much. Oh, he says uh, he comes back in with another five ninety nine. He says, "My bad, big pooping." <laughs> Pretty sure you meant big popping, but it's all good, right? <laughs> as long as you're pooping in the uh, Pringles can, no judgment here. Uh, let's see, got a uh, Count Chad the Impaler with ten dollars. Ex Navy worked for DOD now, uh, going twenty years, six fig income. Did the big brain thing and and did the non mRNA uh, J and J vaccine once. No boosters, no side effects. Got coof once, only mild sniffles. Sick one day. Yeah. All right. Yep. It's kind of funny how the uh, the J and J shot that was a uh, one and done and that got uh, scrapped. But that's a different story. Uh, got a uh, B Ryan uh, B Ryan Rangers with twenty dollars. Pop uh, dose. Uh, Pop does your cash app work because I know the YouTube takes fifty percent of what I send and yeah, of what I send. Works. Yep. Cash app works great. It is in the banner there. Uh, if you if you happen to miss it, uh, click the link tree in the Meat Gazer box. That'll give you all the links to a donate. You take fifty percent. YouTube takes thirty percent. Thirty to fit thirty to fifty percent. They're talking about fifty percent now. And to be honest, YouTube is getting their asses kicked financially because they decided to keep doing the censorship and created their own uh, adversaries or competition. So yeah, the hell with that. Yep. All right. Yep. Continue on. All righty. It looks like uh, B. Ryan was the last one over on YouTube there. So let me jump over to Rumble. And like I mentioned earlier, uh, the Rumble chat did jump on me there, fellas. I know I did see a couple chats earlier up in there. I cannot go back to them. Maybe I can uh, get in get in touch with someone at Rumble and say, hey, can you figure something out? You know, separate a donation chat from the main chat and whatnot. That would be great. All right. I'll, I'll rotate up to the top and see what we got. That would be awesome because it did from, uh, Dura Smoke and Poke a hundred dollars. Yep, that's, that's where I'm at. Yeah, yeah there was my money. <laughs> yep it it uh, it did jump on us. So, but uh, you do deserve one of these. There, good sir. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. The next one is Armed Ohio He the ninety two. Love that name, by the way. Nice. Number 453 here from the Self-Deletion Prevention Board checking in again. My advice to the normies just now walking up to the madness, get stronger, improve your shot grouping, and improve your cardio. Yeah. Well said. And he also deserves one of these. We're not worthy! We're not worthy! And can you see the one from MX Stilgar? Uh, let's see. I'm going to do this one from a uh, MGTOW Mando here real quick. Uh, yeah. much like a certain September day, we will never forget the real numbers of, of the coof deaths. Yeah, that uh -huh. is true. The one from MX Stilgar, $3 says, uh, please check either Blake or pops email for subject. I still can see CNN watching sheep wearing masks with uh, Cesar Romero choker laughing audio attached cheers. Oh, yeah. I have people in my office that still wear masks, and I just shake my head and walk past them. Uh, don't even look anymore. Yep. I just, I, just, I, just, I just shake my head. I don't even say anything. I don't acknowledge them. I'm like, I, I see you have your, uh, your, your ball gag on, and you like to know what to do, what Big Daddy government tells you to do. 
and, and we got here for one from Paladin BR for 20. Thank you very much. We got Moderna, AstraZeneca, and JJ are still tied to the same CMDO manufacturer steps, vary by manufacturer in the US and Europe. Dig deeper in uh, dig deeper that CMDO just got brought by bought by Nova Holdings. Send me a link to that sure. and I'll do that thing I do with yeah. data Listen, maps. This dude here, you give him one shred, one thread of information, and he will unweave that shit. It's amazing. Yeah. I I'll, wonder I wonder what uh people in uh, Congress have uh stocks in those kind of companies. I wonder. Uh, Just asking for a friend now. Let's see here. Uh, I got a got a clip thirty one eighty eight here with five dollars. Another method: uh, people receiving the clot shot via blood transfusions with the mRNA vaccines injected. Yes. Remember when blood drives adamantly requested unvaxed blood? Here's why: it's not for you. Yeah, and, and here's the fu- here's the bad part. When my, my mother was in the hospital, she needed two units of blood, and I'm like, "Just take take one unit out of me. I'm good." And they're like, "No, it doesn't work like that." I'm like, yes, it does. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Absolutely works like that. Uh, that's they wouldn't let me do it. So there you go. Yep. There you go. Uh, so you got a uh, Mando coming back again with two dollars. Fauci needs the same treatment Jimmy wishes to give pedos. Jimmy, what's the noise your favorite uh, tool makes? Uh, that would be wood chipper go burr. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. Uh, yeah, I agree. I like it. I like it. You know, if in a case, uh, in a case we know we're we're short on wood chippers, you know, uh, a millstone or two will work. Yeah. Yes. I, I just Ma- can't believe that this is we are we are where we are, and all of the corruption this needs to get cleaned up. Yep. Yep. Let's see here. Uh, Net guy, nineteen seventy five. Jimmy hard at work. He shares a video. Oh, no. I did. I I did. Uh, I did. You did. You looked at it. <laughs> yeah, I did. Did you preview the video? Oh, okay. Yes, okay. I did. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. <laughs> Button pushing. That's fantastic. I like it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right all right that's all right. my job that's what i'm here to do i am the evil pushing okay. evil button push pushing monkey <laughs> uh just be sure to get your get the likes up and uh i don't have to push a certain button to yeah. uh make it's certain button, people please. puke nobody wants to see this <laughs> please please let's see uh net guy coming back again uh please remind everyone why cardio is important because uh well you never know when uh a certain someone may or may not be chasing you down the street with a big blue dildo. It's a quick in the dead, baby. Terrible. Quick in the dead. That's so terrible. Uh, there we go. All right. We got uh, um, SW, SWLABR uh, intercourse, uh, $5. Intercourse, the DNC and RNC. I don't trust any one of the parties. They can both smurf my balls. Yeah, anybody who trusts a politician right now of any stripe at all, period, is an idiot. Really needs to have their head checked. Yep. Yes. And that, that you know, and I'm going to speak for myself. I can't speak for these other two gentlemen or anyone else in the chat. Uh, that goes for you Trumpers as well. Because yeah. remember, oh, yep. Operation Warp Speed. You're welcome. Yep. We'll, we'll get to that. We'll get there. Uh, so you got a uh, anonymous coming in with two dollars. Uh, Trudeau was grilled recently by the carbon tax, costing Canadians fifteen hundred, and to kill it, Trudeau argued that it would cost people eight hundred. Oh, excuse me, in government rebates. Good luck argue, arguing about the vax. Lots of dummies. Canada is just a creepy gay communist state right now, though. Yeah, they're, I'm just going to come right out and say it's the strangest yeah, we, evil dictator I've ever seen in my life. Literally a gay underwear model. <laughs> we're we're going to force what? you to oh, take. What? We're going to take. We're going to force you to take this quote medicine, and when it paralyzes <laughs> you, the best we can do is kill you. 
<laughs> gay underwear model. I gotta write that down. He is. It's not a joke. He, That's really what the, what's going on he, there. <laughs> and he may or may not be a Satan spawn of Castro, allegedly. He looks a lot more like Castro than he does his father. That is an absolutely unnegotiable fact. Carry yeah, on. Just carry on. Just look, carrying on. Uh, S W L B A R or S W A L B R coming back in five dollars says fuck the empire. All right, all right, cool, cool. I got it. Well, just just be sure you wear a condom. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, net guy nineteen seventy five coming in uh, with the dollar. More likes, people. Don't forget to smash that like button, follow and share. Smash the like button like Pop used to smash Bumpy Cake. Long story. Uh, you had to bring that up. I'll tell you the Bumpy Cake. Story. <laughs> All right, carry on. The bumpy cake story. Yeah. <laughs> Shameful time in my life. Huh? Bumpy cake. Why does that uh, that that brings up long really story? Bad... Long story it involves bumpy cake. Yeah. All right. Uh, Anonymous coming back again with two dollars. Uh, read turtles. Uh, turtles all the way down. It exposes how vaccine trials are gamed and are a scam. All vaccines for decades. That would yeah, isn't... shock me. Nope. Isn't that kind of funny how we've been having the uh, the flu shots for how fucking long yet we still have the fucking flu? Yeah, yeah. Isn't that something? You know, oh, just dear. let that. Just put that on your back burner and let that simmer for a little bit. Let's see, uh, that one we got from MX Stilgar. Yep, I think that one we read. Yep, that one we did read. Actually, Pop read that one. So let me scroll down here through the Rumble chats here again. Rumble. Anyone that works at Rumble, if you're listening, bring out a uh, a tab to a. Oh yeah. Just put, out, just, just put out just put out the uh, the super chats so it doesn't jump on us because I know there was like two or three super chats at the beginning of the show and yeah, we never out there again. You hear us call out your super chat. We apologize for that. Like uh, like Jimmy says, we're just having a hard time finding them because Rumble's feed is. Yeah, it it jumps up. on us every now and then. Uh, let's see. Uh, that one from Paladin. We read that one for twenty dollars. Got that one. Let's see here. Scrolling back down through. And we've got a fan. I am with one dollar. Short message in the email. Righty. Well, let me. Uh, well, I don't see it. No, oh, Pop doesn't see it. All righty. Well, yeah. we'll let. I'll keep looking for it. Just keep going. We'll let that marinade and whatnot. All righty. Uh, MGTOW Mando coming back again with $2. Uh, let political officials be the first ones to test new aircraft. Cool. Yeah. 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 I would, uh, I would be, uh, not opposed to that. Yes. Yep. All right. Let's see here. It looks like a uh, last one here over on Rumble here from MX Stilgar uh, for a dollar. I'm not seeing the CNN one on here. No. Nope. All righty. Uh, this one oh, is. No, uh, I, email. I got it. I got it. Hang on. Let's see what we got here. Uh, I can still see. Yeah. He's got a little uh, video here of Cesar Romero laughing. Uh, let's see. MX Stilgar. Even when Pop. Pop specifically asked Jimmy to check the email with with the subject. I still see CNN watching sheep wearing masks. Jimmy doesn't check the email. Well done, Jimmy. Hey, we can only look, we can only do what we can do. <laughs> we're, we're checking like five different platforms. What, what you what yeah, you do not know, good. Time. What you do not know, good sir, is I have the email open up because yeah, we get cash. I will <laughs> listen. I'm a fan of Cesar Romero, but uh, that might be copyrighted, so I don't want to. Oh yeah, there's that. Yeah. 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 Let's see. Uh, Anonymous sneaking in here with the last one here for from night uh, on Rumble uh, for two dollars. Speaking of pink and sexual, sexual ambiguous prime minister, this link is safe. <laughs> of course it is. All right. Let me. <laughs> oh, have you got a sandbox set up, Jimmy? <laughs> He's got check links before. Uh... We should set up a sandbox. He's got a. Oh, hang on. Let me uh sand table. Let me bring this no, one up. Is it... so test links to make sure that they're safe before you. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I I always open up the link. If I open up a link, I always check it, make sure. But uh, this is a this is a meme. It's a great meme. We've all seen it. But let's see it again. <laughs> from ten ten days to flatten the curve to show me your papers within a year. I did not see that coming. 
Oh, God. Oh, Trudeau, Trudeau, that bundle of sticks. God. Yep. Uh, let's see. A uh, couple other ones here. We got International House of Whoop Ass. I like that. Okay. Uh, with $2, I hope you guys stop buying Tyson Meats from now on. Oh, yeah. What they did to Americans for illegals. It's the South Park skit in real life. Yeah. 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 Tyson Foods. Smurf I don't my balls. I don't shit anyway. So. Yeah. Ty, Tyson I literally balls. get all of my meat from farmers around yeah. me now. Yes. Find a local farmer, Amish person, butcher, whatever. Just don't buy the big brand bullshit because uh, if you do, you're uh, supporting I'm the Eagles. The Eastern market. Yeah. I can see where the butcher shops are. Okay. You're, yep. you're 15 minutes from a market that opened in 1703. Okay. There you go. Uh, let's see. Uh, Tomahawk. He's just gotten here and he's asking for a favor because he threw in a fiver. Okay. Uh -oh. I apologize, gentlemen. Okay. Wow. Okay, get that off my screen because I'm going to have to drink <laughs> to get that out of my mind. Nice. Oh, Tomahawk, you're an asshole. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, Paladin BR coming in with $10. Anyway. Uh, Paladin BR coming in with $10. Battle Dwarf, email sent. Subject, Paladin BR. Links requested by the Battle Dwarf. Okay. Right, I'll, I'll forward I, them to I you. I did not see something at this time, but I will forward them to your email. They're in my. Oh, he sent it to mine. Okay. Yeah. No, he sent them to me. I'll send. Okay. Them okay. 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 All okay, right. Let's see here. We'll jump over here to Odyssey. We got a few donations through Library Coin. We appreciate you guys with those. Again, uh, Library Coin is uh, not worth very much, but uh, we thank you for your donations. Uh, let's see, we've got a uh, Mark D's channel with twenty dollars. Pfizer, they're like the firemen setting fires and then offering to help put them out. Thanks, yes. Pop, and it was exactly. illustrious co-hosts for producing the show. Thanks for the peanut penis gallery for the discussion. <laughs> if you're if you're if you're in the uh, the penis gallery and not the uh, peanut gallery, I'm sorry, but. <laughs> You are fined one homo suspicion point for violation of the man code morality statute. I, I yeah. love that. Yeah. I love. You had that coming. I love you had that. that coming. I love that. One. Oh, that's so funny. All righty, we'll jump over here to MGTOW.TV, the best chat on the interwebs. Wow. But uh, we got Mungo Harry with the fifty dollar donation there. All right. Well, we're gonna have to play one of these. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. And he says it's time to get loosened up and ready for pop. And he has a gif of a woman unbuttoning her blouse. And well, let's just say it may or may not be cold in that room. <laughs> may or may not be cold in that room. All right, all right. Can't show it, but okay. Can't show it. Well, uh, that one we probably could, but it's it's a gif again. MGTOW.TV. Check out the chat. Uh, let's see, uh, Single for Life's got a couple in a row here. I normally don't drink, but you are making me sure want to drink heavily. And he's making a request. Oh, no. Okay. And, uh, well, hang on. Well, where is it okay. at? Where is it at? Well, uh, it, it's rather familiar because uh, Steve pushed the button earlier and he couldn't figure out how to stop it. <laughs> your cootie juice on my dishes! Cootie juice is on my dishes! You're welcome for that one because uh, I did see that <laughs> chat earlier and I had to... I literally had to download it and add it to the uh, the lineup there for that. Dude, it's, I'm telling you right now. Fun. That is as funny as hell. That is so funny, man. 
Oh. <laughs> Good. Uh, and single for life second chat here says, I signed up for your purple group like last week. Still haven't gotten any info on it. I need to put together a newsletter and I'll, I'll put one out. We're working on a uh, a, a combo SO, SOI. Yes. And uh, it'll yeah, be I, one that you can modify for your particular group. It does. You don't have to follow ours. Yeah. It just gives you a uh, an outline of how, how you should do it. Yeah. All righty. There you go. We got a uh, crazy uncle with three in a row here is first one for $10. One day I will be on the show and I will bring the Gomar. They, uh, they forced on me after I had already started wow. my retirement paperwork. Why do I still have it? So I can burn some motherfuckers. Dude, have that shit framed. Cause there's absolutely nothing they could do to you with a Gomar. If you already dropped your retirement packet. Oh, That's yeah. true. I just thought I'd cheer you guys up and show you some actual boobies. There you go. There you go. Good, good. I have boobies for you. Know, and if it's any consolation, I myself received a Gomar, so you're not alone. Uh, Steve and his blue-footed boobies. I, you guys wanted to see boobies. I showed you boobies. Uh, the, I don't there you go. Points. Carry on. The, uh, the, you know, those are those are actually YouTube appropriate boobies. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, crazy uncle continues here. I, I will become an agent of karma. Ooh, an agent of karma. I like that. Just yeah. like all those ball looking ass looking British cigarettes that are re uh, refused to sign my paperwork to go to flight school. Yes. My knife hand, knife hand is locked and loaded. There you go. There you go. And crazy uncle. Second one here. If you can't get ivermectin, ivermectin, just drink tonic water. It works. Just not as strong. FYI. The real reason, real reason it's called tonic water is because it's originally designed as a medicine. It's got quinine in it. I understand. Yep. You are correct. Yes. Yep. So if you are someone out there that likes their gin and tonics, you're a lot more healthier than I am because I drink beer and whiskey. Same thing. More or less. Yeah, sort of. More or less. Yeah, it's same thing. Alcohol kills everything. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, and Crazy Uncle's third one here. COVID paid out 4000 per person. And guess what's still going on? Possible to get six hundred dollars every time they cut the end off of guy's dick. That would be a yeah, that, yeah. That that's a big problem. The circumcision yep. thing. That's getting... just a yeah. That's that that that's that doesn't sit too well with me. Uh, ever wonder why they push that bullshit so much? It's all about the money. Yep. Well, there was a there was a certain uh, representative from a certain African country that just said, you know, it's all about the Benjamins. But that was anti-Semitic. Yep. But I digress. No. I digress. Uh, let's see. Mountain Man 93.95 with $10. I went, ahead, uh, I went ahead without any COVID shots because it was experimental. Took cara, 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 carnivora, which is the plant extract of the Venus flytrap, Ooh. and a supplement of zinc. I still got the coof, but was simply just as mild cold symptoms. See, and I have a, uh, I haven't taken any kind of supplements or any kind of uh, poking smokes, and I haven't been sick in like five years. That was not alcohol related. <laughs> oh, Alleg allegedly. Okay. Uh, nice disclaimer. <laughs> nice disclaimer. I like it. And let's see. Uh, and single for life's last chat over here on uh, MGTOW.TV. We are taking back Canada in the next election. And he's asking for uh, the dancing gay cruise. Uh, so we can give him that one. Uh, yeah, yeah. In honor of the captain. hilarious there you go wow that's great <laughs> ah i uh, like it. let's see here uh jump back over to youtube got a uh, james mcleod five dollar super chat no comment thank you very much there good sir jump through a rumble here again again guys we apologize i know there was uh some super chats earlier on in the stream yeah the let's chat jumped on me and uh, hey can you read the cash apps uh, let's see here. Yep, I can bring those. 
those ones up here. Again, I do have the email open. Let's see here. here. Let me scroll down here. All right. Let's see here. We got $10 from uh, Tony. No comment there. Thank you very much, sir. Good, sir. Let's see here. And we got $75 from Brian uh, for, wow. <laughs> for Sleek and order some uh, Midol pills on me. There you go. Well, I'm not My sure God. if Pop's going to need the Midol pills, but we can give you one of these in return. Good, sir. We're not worthy! We're not worthy! Thank you very much. My doll actually works for migraine headaches. Just so you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, there you it go. stand in your pussy. <laughs> there we go. And let's see. The next one we got from Michael for $10. Says, for ju uh, just got a copy of the Ranger Handbook. Good. That's, that's, a, a, that's a useful book. That's a very useful fucking book, man. There you go. And we got uh, $10 from Brian. Says uh from Boom Row Unvaccinated. Hashtag pure blood. No, that is not a nazi kind of thing. I'm just saying. Yep. And we got uh five dollars from uh Daniel uh for po for politicians should be first to test vaccines too. Absolutely. They should, and they should also be the uh first ones on the war field when they vote to go to war. I have in no my opinion, in my opinion, I would do it. Yep. All right. Let's see here. Uh, let's see. Uh, Ebtide for uh, over on Odyssey uh, says uh, he wants some singing pop. So here's some fake money. So I guess well, you know what? I I can't deny it because this is funnier and shit. And I'm also <laughs> in the audience if you pay attention close enough. I was just informed that the path that I take home is under construction. So I need to recalculate. Uh, I'm going to punch out early this evening. We okay. Do most of the cash apps. All right. You do what you got to do. Right. Uh, let's see here. Uh, looks like uh, Alex Patino threw us a diamond over on D Live over there. Thank you very much, sir. Good, sir. But it looks like we are all caught up on. Well, we, I uh, saw we had another so, one from uh, Albert R. from 1999. Uh, look up yep. Event 201 at John Hopkins University. You will be shocked. Conducted on October 2019. All right. Yeah. You got all the cash apps covered? We'll have to check into that one. But it does look like that is all of the cash apps. So that would round up the night there. Okay. So pop. We need a safety briefing. All right. Don't drink and drive. Don't drink and swim. Never works out. If you must fornicate, wear a condom, take it with you, or flush it down the toilet and watch it go all the way. If you get involved in some kind of fisticuff violence, do everything in your power to run away first. And if you can't, do everything in your power not to go to the ground because that is where you get stomped out. Okay. Rack up, pack up, and stack up and maintain your situational awareness because if somebody is going to attack you, the environment will have changed, and it's up to you to see it. All right. There you go. And to everyone else out there that have been saying, oh, well, you're wrong about all this stuff and whatnot, I'm sorry, but for the last six years, we have had a substantial record about being right. So with this... I will end this show with, uh, well, this. Fuck you! I was right! Fuck you! I was right! Fuck you! I was right! I love that guy. All right, All right you guys take it easy. I'll see you later. Take it easy, gents.